Thank you so much for joining us for today's webinar. I am Tarani, representative from Selangor Kejaya team. Today, we are presenting a webinar on rapid exploring new opportunities, which will be presented by Ms. Aida and Ms. Haliza. Okay, so uh, before this, we had an, another session which on our profiling. Uh, that recorded session you can find in our Slango Kajaya YouTube channel. And this round, what we can do is that uh, this time we're going to do uh, something which is uh, we're going to give a little bit of insight how we can train our candidates, how we can upskill, reskill on the things that our candidate can actually do. So what I can say is that our training is not just limited to hone your skills, but also improve yourself as a human being. So let me please help, um, allow me to give a brief introduction about our speakers. Okay, Miss Aida and Miss Haliza both are from H&M Training Consultancy. Both have been working with Awantech for a while, and now they are also being part of Slango Kajaya program as well. So they're helping us to train our candidate as well, and they have been providing own kind of self-development program for past fifteen years. Okay, before we begin this session, right, I would like to give a gentle reminder to all the participants. Okay, please be aware that this session will be recorded and please turn off your mic while the speakers are talking to avoid any noises and kindly use the chat box to ask questions. So the interaction is encouraged during the Q&A session only and there will be a group photo at the session and the end of the session. And the recorded session will be published via our social media soon. Okay, without further ado, I'll pass the floor to Miss Aida and Miss Haliza to continue with the session. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Dara. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. It's good to see all of you. How are you guys feeling today? Can we hear your voice at least? Yes. If you are careful, yes. uh, yes. yes. feeling great, feeling great. Okay, good to know that, yeah. Um, Again, okay. yeah, thank you so much. Oh, oh, all right, thank you so much. Okay, um, <clears throat> thank you for inviting us. Yep, uh, first of all, we just want to confirm can you hear us loud and clear? Boleh dengar kami dengan jelas? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, all right, okay. For those who um, have webcam, uh, feel free to switch on your camera so that we are able to see your beautiful faces. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, because when we do online uh, or training or live webinar, uh, one of the, the important mechanism that we want, we want to see your faces. Yeah, so that we can see what is happening with you. Because if we just hear your voices, we aren't able to really identify what is happening at the other side. So uh, please, please switch on your webcam so that we can see your faces. Anyway, uh, thank you again for inviting us. It's, we are deeply, deeply honored to be with you today. And um, with the time given to us, with the privilege that has been given to us, we would like to talk about this special, special um, topic or uh, to have a great conversation with all of you. Uh, it's, we call it Grab It! exploring new opportunities um, maybe it might sound cliche yeah um, but we hope that our conversation today will give some awesome insight to each and every one of you and something that you can use uh, to make your journey uh, more beautiful and great um, well um, all right so when it comes to grab, I mean, we purposely put it grab it, yeah, because a lot of us now we order food online. How many of us you order food on grab? Ramada, Ramika. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. Yes, yeah. that's 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 more yeah. like grab. Ah, grab, yeah. Grab. So not grab it, can? So we thought, okay, let's grab it. Uh, exploring new opportunities, yeah. Mm -hmm. So one thing for sure, even like us, uh, allow us to share. Um, stories that happen to us yeah because i added i understand whenever we attend talk and we always say is this person understand what is really going on with me or they just uh, pretending they understand uh or they are somebody they have a lot of opportunities um one thing for sure we are happy to be here because we want to share with all of you we are like you hmm. when 
when this pandemic hit, it hits us really, really bad. Um, we because uh, we used to do face to face uh, training, and we are we don't really online our business. Mm. We are pretty conventional. Mm. So when it happened last year, we were dumbstruck and um, we were numb. We were asking what what can we do uh, in this situation. So it's fine if all any of you that join us today, there's fear in you, you are scared, that is fine. Because why? Because you're not alone. But the best part yeah. is, yeah, uh, my friends, uh, you decide to join. Uh, itu yang penting. Yeah? You ambil langkah yang terbaik. Ah. Untuk, uh, the first step is to join this Langu Kejaya talk this, today. So, a round of applause. Ah, yeah, round of applause for everybody. Tepuk tangan, tepuk tangan. Yeah, yes, yes. So uh, what we're going to touch today mm. is um, uh, what platform that you can actually use yeah, to get what you want even though uh, during this pandemic, yeah, walaupun pandemic ini, uh, dan juga um, some industries that you can actually venture uh, even though that was not, that were not your, what you have mm. in mind before this pandemic happened, uh, you still have the privilege to achieve what you want. Yeah? So itu yang kita akan, akan touch. Uh, so one of it, um, opportunities that we have now, mm. um, we have opportunities in retail, um, healthcare, and um, surprisingly in entertainment, but a different kind of entertainment, yeah? Mm. Um, and if you are from tourism, mm. or if you're not, you're from aviation, this might not be your time yet, but you can explore new industries, yeah? In, explore industry industries yang baru, mm. Untuk uh, still achieve your goals, eh? so we're going to touch on that. Um, how to be still be you, even though you have to do something new, and how to embrace changes. Yeah, mm. uh, please please feel free uh, mm. to support to engage eh? because this this talk is for all of us. Yep, mm. and um, before we we proceed further, if Nobody is telling, is saying I love you to you today. So let us be the first person to tell you that we love you, and we are so happy that you are part of this fantastic journey. Um, so with that, Aliza, you re ready? Okay. Anyway, are you are you guys ready to be ready? Allah, I know last Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yeah. yeah. Pukul 3 o'clock, pukul 3. Siapa makan nasi, lauk ayam macam saya tadi memang uh, kena lompat banyak eh, sebelum start this conversation. So feel free to to engage with us because we need it from you. Okay, boleh eh? Uh, kalau rasa mengantuk ke, tepuk-tepuk muka tu eh. Tepuk muka, buka kamera, tepuk muka supaya kawan semua nampak itu tengah tepuk muka you eh. Uh, alright. So that I'm going to pass. Vaccination. Pardon? After vaccination. After vaccination. <laughs> oh, after vaccination. Oh, after vaccination. Terus attend this live in. Oh, round of applause last. Oh, I kena tepuk buat sikit. Ah, sebab I teringat kuasa I lepas vaccination tu, ngantuk. Ya? Yeah? Ah, uh, so, uh, lagi banyak tepuk muka eh. Ah. Uh. All right, Aliza, the floor is yours, yeah? All right. Mm. Uh, before I start, yeah, my dear friends, uh, just nak kongsi di sini, eh. Uh, saya dengan Maria, kita akan kongsi kita punya experience, ya. Yeah? Uh, so, please feel free to tanya soalan. Because kami yang jenis speaker yang tell you the truth. Yeah, we are not going to hide anything, yeah. We will tell you, yeah, the journey, the hurdles, the struggles, the battles that we have to go through to get where we are today. We're not going to give you all the beautiful picture, yeah. However, you will get the beauty of it after you have gone through some challenges. That is the part of journey of life. Uh, that is what we're going to share. So, please, please, please be... Uh, feel free to tanya soalan, yeah? uh, either direct dengan kita atau you can actually chat with our team. Yeah? Yes. Feel yes. free because this uh, this actual session is untuk anda semua, yeah? bukan untuk kami, mm. untuk anda semua. Yeah? Mm. Okay, with that, I am going to share with you my dear friends. Yeah? Uh, the title is going to be... Memang sengaja tulis eh, sebab we all nak you baca satu-satu, saya hilang gantuk kan. Eh? Hmm. Right, okay cool. Yep. Hmm. Okay, can you see this my dear friends? 
Boleh lihat ke? Can. Can. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. After the rain. Okay, boleh okay. saya? Apa saya tulis? Chasing rainbow. Chasing rainbow after the rain. After the rain. Yeah. Thank you so well much. Done. Well done. Well yeah. done, ya. Okay, saya ah. nak tanya ya. Eh. Chasing hmm. rainbow after the rain, ya. Eh. Uh, so I will break it into three parts, ya. Yeah? Ah. Uh, first part. All right, cool. All right. Can we see my friends? We have a uh, meaning, story, learning points. Say just nak tanya eh, my dear friends, yeah, do you know what chasing rainbow after the rain means? What's the meaning of it in your opinion? Anyone? Pernah dengar tak? Kata Ani? Okay, semua malu ke? Uh, semua malu ataupun... Macam mana? Uh -huh. Kalau tak tahu tak apa. Ha. Saya akan kongsi. Saya just nak tanya. Nanti saya takut saya shock sendiri. Yeah? Uh, so better we share together. Ah, yeah? uh, Okay. Ada yang cakap pernah tapi tak pasti. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh. Okay. Would you like to guess lah. Teka roughly what does it mean? Do you think? Okay. Somebody raise their hand. Okay. Boleh 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 cakap. Ah, yang kat tangan, ah. Chasing the dream. Okay, chasing your dream. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, thank you. Atira. Is it Atira? Atira Tan. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Chasing your goals. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Zara. Right. Any yeah. others? Okay, tak ada tak apa ya. Ah, tak ada okay. tak apa. Ha. Uh, the two the two that uh, shared with me earlier on. Thank uh, you so much for sharing, yeah. yeah. Thank you uh. for sharing. Thank you for sharing your ideas, yeah. All right. Normally there is a saying, yeah, they say chasing rainbows after the rain. Saya nak tanya bila hujan, ya, yeah, lepas tu you nampak, ya, yeah, rainbow, pelangi, ya, yeah, how do you feel, my dear friends? Positive, positive. okay. Saya nak tanya, uh, how do you feel? Bila kita tengah driving, contohlah, tengah driving, kan, lepas tiba-tiba kan, uh, rain tu, it just droplets, ya, yeah, and then we see the rainbow, how do you feel? Somebody say I feel bad. Oh, why? <laughs> uh, okay, like uh, all right. Okay. Some say I feel happy. Yeah, some some say happy. very nice feeling. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. Great. Amazed. Some amazed. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm not gonna go into the scientific term, lah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> always be positive. Uh, yeah. Somebody said as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Very good. Very okay. Good. What it means here is, yeah, when it says grab it, yeah, uh, grabbing every new opportunities you have in you, chasing rainbow after the rain means then. Yeah, Whatever struggles you have, there is always something ahead for you. And yeah, that's what it means. Because after hujan, kan, bila kita nampak pelangi itu, memang we feel happy, we feel positive. We say, wow, amazing, how does it happen? Yeah? If we're not from the science point of view lah, yeah? kita seronok eh, nampak rainbow tu. Okay, that's the meaning behind it. Yeah? Come back lah. For example, let me show you my story eh, when it comes chasing rainbow after the rain. When I was a teenager, Saya punya cita-cita eh, kemungkinan you tak boleh nampak lah kalau saya dah wajah macam ni eh. Uh, dulu tak ada macam ni eh, dulu free hair eh. So dulu when I was in my teenage years, uh, around 15, 16 eh, my goal was actually to become a flight attendant for British Airways. And how naughty I am eh. Uh, my dad sebenarnya eh, uh, my dad memang tak izinkan. Dia suka eh, Dia, he said to me, no matter what you must study. So, of course, I don't like to study because I'm very naughty. So, I don't like to study. Mm. I like to get work experience. Mm. Yeah? So, what happened to me was I went yeah, for the interview. I went for a uh, second interview. I went on the actual flight, did all the wear the uniform, the whole thing. And I'm like, yeah, I got the job as an air uh, flight attendant with British Airways. However, uh, yeah, chasing the rainbow after the rain, yeah, my hurdle is what? Anda boleh teka tak hurdle saya apa cabaran saya? Apa dia? Hmm. Anyone? Ha. My dear friends. Can't pursue oh, your goal. Oh, thank, you. Ah, thank you, Tarani. Okay, thank you. Ah. Can't pursue my goal. Kenapa? Apa halangan saya sebenarnya? My biggest challenge will be what? Yeah! yeah. 
father. father. Thank you. Uh. Okay, when you are a child, yang sangat sangat yeah, obedient, yeah, sayang the, your father, kan? You follow, kan? You will never dis apa, disobey, kan? Your father or your mother betul ke tidak? Saya rasa everybody's like that. Yeah? Yeah. So my dad, yeah, memang kita izinkan. So of course I did not take the job. I left it and I followed what my father wants me to be. Which is to further study, get my degree, do your masters, and on, so on, so forth. Yeah, but the beauty about it, where is my rainbow? Yeah, where was my rainbow? Even though I did not become a flight attendant, yeah, where was my rainbow? Let me share with you. Yeah, my rainbow was I still get to travel the world. I still get to see Europe. Yeah, I still get to see it. Yeah, go to Spain, go to France, go to Holland, whatever country is that's nearby. I still get to do it. So I was still fortunate. Eh? I cannot fly as a flight attendant. However, I could fly on my own. But at the same time, my dear friends, yeah, I say I fly to pun jangan pikir oh man, you boleh fly Haliza because your father is rich. It did not. Yeah, saya umur saya lima belas tahun saya dah kerja. Kenapa saya kerja? Kerana satu saya nak sama belajar. Keduanya because I wanted to travel because I cannot take the job because my dad did not bless me. So I wanted to travel. Saya dah ada cita-cita no matter what, saya will conquer the world. Yeah, so I worked. So I worked as a Saturday girl, you know, promoter. Yeah, work in bookstores, work in record stores or music stores. Eh? Record mungkin anda tak tahu ya. Yeah? Yeah, tower itu, records, yeah. yeah. Mm. Itu zaman saya lah, record. Yeah? <laughs> Now you have all your playlists and things like that. Yeah? So that's why I'm saying here, chasing rainbow after the rain. Yeah, masuk saya di sini ya lah. Memang anda akan ada hurdles, challenges, yeah, struggles. But if you are patient and you keep chasing what you want, there will always be beauty for when you are waiting for it. There will always be a rainbow. Itu masuk saya di sini. Yeah. So coming back to the drawing board di sini ya lah. Yeah? Learning points of it is, my dear friends, yeah? whatever struggles you have, yeah, they are all valuable lessons. So for example, if My dear friends, uh, now you are still looking for a job. Do not give up. You need to actually strive, determine yourself to get a job. What do you do? Send resumes every day. You cannot do like one resume a month. How can you get the job? You must remember there are so many people that is graduating at there. So many people has degrees. So many people has masters. So many people are looking for a job even though that I have academic. So your competition is very high. So you have to give a bit more. So your resume you have to send. Maybe, yeah, maybe 20 a day. Yeah, keep looking out for it. Right, uh, touch up on your, uh, what do you call it, resume. How do you do your resume? Those are the elements that you need to do. So whatever struggles you have at the end of the day, yeah, those are learning points for you to grow, to be better. And that's where you get your opportunities. Uh, that is what I want to share on this part. Okay, before we carry on, Ada soalan ke? Or any questions you want to ask us? Or anything you want to clarify with us? You guys still alive? Uh, masih ni? ni? Selangor Kerjaya? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Come on, some more. Uh, Izzatul cakap okay. senyuman. Uh, yes, okay. yes. Oh, somebody say Muhammad Khairul Rabani. No, what happened to you? Yeah? You still alive or not? Oh, oh no! Okay, sorry, okay, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, Robert. Ah, uh. Tania, what would you advise me for SME? What would you advise me for SME? What would you your advice be for SME? SME. A small companies. Small companies. It, it, okay, it, can some can you please elaborate further on that? I wouldn't mind uh, yes answering uh, your question, but could you elaborate for uh, for me? What do you mean? Are you working with the SME now? Or you want to have your own company? Ah, yes, yes. Mm. Which one? Or you already running your own company, and at the same time you already have a good job, got, got mm. a job from Slango Kerjaya with Slango Kerjaya. Uh, so you want to run both concurrently? Ke mm. macam mana? Still, okay, still alive. Thank you, Cik Cairo Rabani. Yeah. Ah. Rizal Azhar, lapar. Makanlah. Sambil tengok kita punya talk. Boleh. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody put up their hand, yeah. Uh, ja, Jana Sundrum, yes. Uh, 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. If okay. I'm a SME owner, what would your advice be? I ah, see. okay, all okay, right. okay, yeah, okay, okay, all okay, right. okay, all right, all right, okay, okay. Um, you take it, okay. So I, I would, I would say that that uh, like, anyway, just this to share. Uh, the question is by Megna is if I am a SME owner, what would be a good advice? Yeah, good mm. advice from from us. Okay, we we're thinking of now. Cerita tu masa topik yang lagi satu kan How to um, change your strategy Dan hmm. tak apa kita cerita hmm. sekarang eh hmm. um, For us um, Explore yeah. Uh, hmm. You don't have to be like everybody else eh? That's one hmm. thing for sure yeah? um, When this pandemic happens kan A lot of people say okay you do food business hmm. uh, You buat delivery um, You just don't have to follow the crowd yeah so what you need to do is identify what is out there yang actually still resonate dengan what do you really want mm. yeah okay uh, contohnya eh, when this thing happens eh, and uh, we cannot do i mean if we were to give example to you eh, um first thing first you have to know what you want mm. you really need to know what you want uh, list it down yeah saranan saya eh, list down what you want and at the same time, you need to list down skills that you need, resources that you need to get what you want. Okay? Uh, sebagai contoh, saya bagi contoh untuk uh, kami eh. Kami tak pernah buat online online training dulu. Kita tak buat virtual training, kita tak ada buat live webinar. We don't even have the facilities. But what do you think this thing happens, what we did is, kita explore how can we still be us continue our passion in a way that it could be done dalam pandemic ni. So we identify who is the market player hmm. yang you um, rasa nak jadi, yang you rasa you nak you follow ni. Macam for us, we follow mas, we follow market player like hmm. Success Resources, hmm. Mind Valley, hmm. Anthony Robbins. Hmm. Uh, so we, we need, we see how are they coping with this situation. And truthfully speaking, they are also scared like us, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then, and then, kita identify what what else can we do, yeah. Um, you don't have to have all the skills, mm. yeah. Pada pandangan saya, yeah. Mm. Um, identify people that can provide you the mm. skills mm. so that you're able to get what you want. So that is what we are doing now. What would be the ideas that you can actually um, share to achieve your goals? Itu pandangan saya. So, um, dulu kita tak tak kisah pasal Zoom meeting, hmm. pasal Google Meet, hmm. pasal MS hmm. Team, pasal Webex, hmm. uh, all those online. Hmm. Uh, but what we did, we share our ideas with people that have these skills hmm. and get them to help us so that we can continue doing what we want. A lot of collaboration. Uh, you need to do a lot. Yes, a lot of collaboration. There are risks that you need to take. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, don't be afraid, uh, because uh, everyone, truthfully speaking, eh, uh, uh. everyone out there is facing the same thing as us. Yes. Yes. Betul. And they need someone as well. They need as well a hand to reach out to them. Yes. So yes. you'll be the first to reach out to them, and you'll be amazed at the results that you get. Yes. Like for us now, we've been doing a live webinar for a year now. Mm. So when people say you're not being affected by pandemic, yes, we was. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah. It really like surprised us and uh, we were like panicking because uh, we had team, you see we have staff, mm. look after. But then uh, we kept googling like, a lot of research, yes. yeah, a lot of meeting up with a lot of people yeah. who's going through the same struggle as us. Mm. And because of that, we got together and said, okay, let's do this. Mm. And we gave it a shot. And then the first few times, I'm not saying it was perfect. Ada, yeah? There is always improvements during yes. our live webinar. Yeah, Itu true. Yeah. Uh, that is the risk that each one of you have to take, yeah? If you want to have opportunities, there are opportunities out there. You have to see, take the risk, and give it your very, very best. Yes. I hope that answers your yeah. question. Yeah? There will be our, our suggestion. Mm. If you are a uh, company owner, mm. yeah, SME, um, uh, you're running business and you're thinking how to expand, mm. you don't have to just follow the crowd. Mm. You still stick to what you want. Mm. And just find the right resources to support what you want. Yeah, it is. It, it's available. Mm. Um, I know out there is so much negativity. And every day we hear 
uh, sad stories. Mm. Uh, so do not put your energy there. Yeah, mm. uh, and be humble enough to admit that you need help. Yes. Uh, that's that's what I think. Yeah, mm. um, because um, that that is why you need a platform like Selangor Kerjaya. Mm. Uh, so you get to see new people that mm. have uh, the resources mm. to assist you. Yeah. Even though previously you you in a different industry, you mm. st studied something different, mm. um, it doesn't mean that you can't try something new. Yeah. Mm. Um, if I if I may share, I took accountancy. Yeah. Um, but I did not turn out to be an accountant. Mm. I turned out to be a soft skill trainer. Yeah. Mm. For uh, enhancing people's life, uh, mm. be in self development. Um, so much to learn. So always open up. And along the way, you will get the skills that you need to get what you want. So, uh, sorry, uh, I've just saw as well another question uh, from uh, Miss Atira. Eh? Uh -huh. So she says, uh, during this pandemic, what are the possible explanation paths while waiting for my results or even when I'm ready in, already in uni? Uh, jeng, 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 you're on it, darling. You join the... Selangor Kejaya, Selangor Kejaya. Yeah? because you know why? You let me share with you the tips. Yeah, why uh. you should join Selangor Kejaya, especially yeah. while you are uh. waiting for a job or you are still studying. Uh. Yeah? You have a platform that someone is doing finding a job for you. Once you get a job, they give you free training. Mm. Yeah, so you they will actually sharpen, groom, yeah, give you the skills that you need to be in a job. Yeah, true, true, true. true. Uh, so I hope that answer your your questions there. Yeah, so explore. There are a lot of platforms out there. Yes. And one of the platforms is here, and you are in Slango. And if you are, yeah, are not Slango, you should be proud, and you should take this opportunity to join Slango Kejaya. Yeah. Because our time, yeah, truthfully speaking, our time there's no such thing as this platform. Mm. We had to. You know, send out resume, eh? mm, mm. send out resume, mm. knock on each door to find out what opportunities there are for us. Yes. Yeah, nobody's yeah. going to groom us. And then we had to go to training and then at the same time, kita kena bayar training too. Yeah. But here, you yeah. already have the platform. Zero cost, yeah. Mm. And um, I'm sure some, some of you might be saying, eh, I dah dapat kerja, kenapa I kena attend mm. training juga, eh? Mm. Um, I would say that self-development, yeah, we would... Mm. Self-development ni dia never-ending story sebenarnya. Mm. So bila you dah kerja kan, so you need you need to know how to upgrade yourself. Mm. Yeah, uh, where do you need to go? Mm. Uh, what else do you need to do so that you uh, able to to expand kan? Mm. Uh, so that is why you have to continue to attend training walaupun mm. you dah ada kerja. Mm. So that is why selama kerja ya, they are different because 12 months ni selama setahun dia dah prepare training that will uh, upskill, reskill uh, you punya uh, kemahiran, you punya skills. So that is is, is awesome about uh, Selangor Kerjaya. Yeah? And um, uh, there was just one question there. Uh, what soft skill training? Yeah? Mm. Uh, you would have soft skills training, for example, yeah? effective yeah. communication skill. Mm. Uh, a lot of people say, I know how to communicate. Uh, but you must remember, yeah, when you are working, you must have the right uh, etiquette, mm. the right mannerism, yeah? mm. the right business etiquette, email etiquette to actually communicate to the person. Mm. So things like that, uh, soft skills of uh, effective communication, mm. presentation yes. skills, uh, stress, uh, time, management, uh, yeah. stress management, stress uh, management, time management, mm. all the elements you need actually to become a better employee. Mm. Uh, that's what the soft skills that Selangor Kejaya will assist you on that. Yeah, thinking skills, mm. yeah. Uh, uh, because from time to time, kan, kita dah... Okay, questions, yeah. okay, all right. So that, that would be some some of the... Uh, uh, that would be our uh, training that you can get from being with Selangor Kejaya, yeah? Mm. Okay, um, with that... Mm. So with that, yeah, uh, so conclusion of it all before we move on to the uh, next uh, topic. So we shared a lot earlier on, yeah? Mm. So you see, yeah, chasing rainbow after the rain, there are a lot of opportunities for you. After your hurdles, your struggles, your battles, your challenges, there will be always a beautiful journey ahead. Mm. So you've got to give yourself a chance on that. Uh, this is what I wanted to touch. Uh, so with that, I will hand over to Maria to share with you on the next topic. All right, uh, before I uh, continue, are you guys still alive? If you're still alive, say yes or chat to us, say yes, you're still alive. Yes. Uh, okay, yes. 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 Okay, Ooh, that's a very deep voice, yeah? All right, yes. To be jadi DJ, itu suara itu, yeah? <laughs> Thank you for uh, responding to us, yeah, my dear friends, yeah? So, um, Haliza have shared uh, about uh, chasing rainbow after the rain, eh? uh, 
yang saya sedih juga tengok tadi ada yang tulis nampak rainbow dia pun sedih kan ya? saya pun tak tahu kenapa dia nampak pelangi dia sedih adakah teringat lagu uh, Allah Yarham Sudiman Haji Arshad ya yeah? uh. pernah dengar lagu pelangi okey tak apa eh? itu lama eh? mungkin ramai yang tak pernah dengar pun ya Allah Yarham Sudiman Haji Arshad tapi dia ada lagu pelangi ya yeah? uh, best lagu dia um, so we find that uh, pelangi ni dia have a lot of colors so even though it rains uh, there's always great hope lah itu salah satu so embrace change ni um, Memang kalau kita ceritakan mungkin ramai akan cakap alah trainer ni cerita benda yang sama I dah tahu, I tak kata you tak tahu ya eh, my dear friend Sebenarnya kita ni banyak sangat benda yang kita tahu Dan kadang kita tahu menahu benda yang tak perlu kita tahu tu Itu pun bahaya juga ya eh. uh, Jadi hari ni saya nak share pasal embrace changes and uh, from After that if you have questions uh, please do so ya eh, kalau ada soalan Boleh tanya selepas ni ya eh. uh, Untuk kami yang kami nak share pasal embrace uh, change tu Um, just to share earlier, satu kami ni very conventional ya. Yeah? The way, the way we do marketing last time kita banyak um, memang face to face ya. Yeah? Kita memang approach clients in the form of face to face. So when this pandemic hits, banyak benda yang kami kena uh, expand, kena tukar ya. Yeah? The way we think daripada conventional jadikan online ya. Yeah? Uh, daripada dah biasa physical training kami tukar jadi um, virtual. virtual training and after a while doing it after a year um, we we find it fun doing it eh ah and one of the challenges eh embrace change like i shared earlier eh? tadi i shared earlier with all of you embrace change identify what you want yeah still you change your strategy but not your goals hmm. yeah remember that please say it together with me Change your strategy change but your strategy. change your strategy but not your goal. Boleh cakap ramai-ramai? Change your strategy but not your goal. Change your strategy but not your goal. Yes. Ah, ya. Yeah. Kasihanlah dekat kami eh. Kami pun macam cakap dengan kamera ya. Eh. Ah, tak ada orang eh. Tak ada orang. Kamera je. So that's another new norm ya eh, yang kami kena uh, accept. Kalau dulu bila kita buat training dia ada orang sekarang ni orang-orang dia dekat dalam dalam TV je ya yeah. itu pun kalau orang tu dia buka kamera dia baru kita nampak orang hmm. kalau dia tak buka dia punya kamera kita nampak huruf ya yeah. <laughs> ah kalau yang kesian kat kami tu diletak gambar dia yang paling cantik kat situ ya yeah. so that it, jadi bila embrace change ni when we talk to each other kan we say we can't do some other business bukan we can't that's just not us hmm. ya yeah. saya ada tertanya patut ke saya go to freelance gig kan I mean gig economy. Can I imagine myself jadi lala move? You rasa I boleh jadi lala move tak? I rasa barang tu tak move lah. Eh? Grab. Saya habis nanti saya yang kena grab. Minta kerti. So I say cannot, I, I can't change my goals just because of situation. But I can change my strategy. So what I did, macam we, we did ya, yeah? what we did kita identify, I pernah terfikir, I just want to share, I terfikir, ya yeah, How can I make my participants, our participants Would happy to attend our training, macam mereka tengok wayang Siapa kat sini tengok cerita Lord of the Ring Tiga jam tak berganjak-ganjak duduk dalam wayang tu, angkat tangan Buka kamera anda, angkat tangan, sila mengaku Oh ramai Ah ramai kan, Lord of the Ring eh Ah. Bukan Raja Cincin, tu cerita tak pernah ada Ah, Lord of the Ring Three series, lepas tu cerita Hobbits lagi Tiga jam duduk dalam panggung What we did, we did research Ah, Yang ni kalau I cakap ni nak gelak, you gelak lah I, Kami juga buat kajian Bagaimana penonton boleh duduk tiga jam tengok cerita Hindustan tak bergerak Siapa sini tengok cerita Hindustan, angkat tangan Siapa yang tak angkat tangan tu, you memang sengaja tak? Sebenarnya you yang nangis kan tengok cerita ni kan Coach Coach Wan Tahir ha, Saya tengok cerita Coach Wan Tahir, tiga jam tak bergerak Sampai sekarang saya ingat nama dia, Anjali ha, Kalau ada yang tengok lah, kalau tak eh, Siapa tu? Anjali? Ha, nanti google eh, Coach Coach Wan Tahir So kalau nak gelak-gelak lah eh So we did research Bagaimana gamer boleh duduk berjam-jam tak bergerak So that was the research that we do, we incorporate it into our training. So that is why our training, we do not do half body. We go for live streaming, kita memang pergi studio, 
and we want to make sure bagaimana impact for other side of the audience when they attend our training they feel the impact as well that was the research we don't have the skills but what we did we get people that know about all of this to assist us so that we achieve our goals but we change our strategy so that is example that I would like to share with all of you in terms of embrace change ni. Uh, dia bukan change hari ni semalam rambut you pendek, hari ni rambut you panjang sebab kedai putih rambut tak buka dah lockdown 2 bulan. Change is, things just change. But you do not have to jeopardize you punya goals and identify who can help you. So di situ ya, eh, untuk selama kerja ya, cik balik sama macam Dia dah mulalah ni promosi. Bukan. So what we want to share with you, selalu kerja ya, is one of the change mechanism yang boleh assist all of you. Because they provide you information. They share with you skills that you need. And you are the alternative. Um, so if you think you don't want to work, let's say you don't want to work, you still can join gig economy. That is what other countries are doing. Dah lama dah. Dia buat freelance. That could be. But the question is, are you willing to change your strategy? I'm not saying it's easy. Because when it started, it was not easy. Eh? Yes. Uh. Cakap depan depan kamera, saya saya tak sangka pula. Saya ingat dulu, saya tak kerja TV, depan TV tak kerja Astro Awani. Yeah? Kerja RTM ke? Oh, RTM. Ya, yeah? uh, RTM. Ataupun uh, TV3 eh. uh, Dulu ada TV1, TV2, TV3 Itu je Lepas 3 Kalau you mengantuk, you tidur lah Sebab dia pukul 10 dah tak ada rancangan Lagu negara aku keluar eh. um, <laughs> Saya tak sangka eh. Sekarang ada macam-macam mekanism Kena cakap macam kita cakap weathercaster We have to learn that skills as well Where to stand, how to talk uh, It's a different way But we still get to do what we want We still get to talk to to all of you And do our best to touch your heart and kalau hari ni ada satu point yang kecil yang bila you balik can make you a better person, we can sleep well at night because that is our goal and we would not want to jeopardize it but we're willing to improvise our strategy um, You want to add anything Haliza? Yes. Yes. Itu dua point saja. saya nak cerita pasal embrace change ni sebab masa pun tak banyak kalau saya cerita banyak-banyak nanti lagi ramai left kan after one another, after one another. saya tengok ramai satu-satu left saya pun sedih kat sini siapa left masuk balik eh? ha. masuk balik masuk balik ha, lepas tu masuk balik stay eh? tak lama sekejap je lah baby nani um, so whatever it is mm. this embrace change whether you like it or not there is always changes yeah, in your change. life yeah. it's for example eh, mm. when you were born mm. you didn't expect you to look like this now right there was always changes in mm. 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 Eh? so that comes with your your what you call it your working environment that comes when you were a student yes there's always changes it's how you accept it yeah. and you must remember all changes yeah if you look at on the on the rainbow side yeah there's the beauty about it is always the benefit for us yeah, uh, that you must remember. So during this pandemic, where well, there's a lot of changes for all of us, yeah. Like for example, I'm so used to having short hair, yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden, I have long hair. It's quite scary, yeah, for me, lah, for me, yeah. But it is a change, but we have to accept because this is what's happening now. But that doesn't mean that you have to, be, you know, uh, drown in sorrows, yeah. Do something about it, mm. yeah. With the things, the opportunities, the the strength. Yeah, what you have in you and grab it and do something about it. That's what you need to do. Yeah? Okay, like satu before that. Mm. Thank you, Aliza. Saya nak tanya, any, anybody in this group, you've been retrenched? You, you have to take VSS? You can retrench? Anyone here? Okay, I said somebody right there. Paradigm shift, yeah? That's mm. very good, yeah? Uh, no, no one. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, madam. You ada. Have, okay. Ada. Mr. Singh. Ah, hi Mr. Singh. Yes. Mm. Okay. Ah, mm. uh, and thank you for sharing. Anybody else yang kena retrench dah kerja lama, 20 tahun ya. Yeah? And then it's it's a, it's totally a, a different different page for you. 34 yeah? years. Ah, uh, 34 years. 34 years. Mm. Okay. Well, we will we would say well done yeah for for joining us yeah. Uh, I know it's it's great a, role model. Yeah, great role model. Tengok ya. Yeah? Yeah, dah lama pun say, I want to see what's what's there for me, yeah? Um, I'm sure out there, uh, I mean for fresh graduates, 
if you don't if you're not able to do what you have learned ada yang kita punya peserta took aviation ya yeah? and then dalam ni time sekarang ni mana ada aviation kan uh, but that's fine because apa industries pun soft skills you kena belajar juga dulu then baru technical or it comes along but then again um, interpersonal skills uh, your soft skills expand di situ ya yeah? And for those young, for like our friend here, Mr. Mr. Singh, that have been mm. in, in in different industries for 34 years, mm. and then sekarang nak masuk industri baru, there's a lot of things that perhaps mm. technically you have to learn, but soft skills that you had for 34 mm. years is still handy, sir. Mm. So please use it, yeah. Mm. And even uh, those in oil and gas, kan? Ah, oil and gas dulu siapa oil and gas di jalan lain, eh? Sebab oil and gas poket dia berat. Berat dengan duit. Eh? Hmm. Jalan ada bunyi duit, jalan ada bunyi duit. Eh? Hmm. Um, and even <laughs> even my sister used to be in oil and gas and she got retrenched. Eh? Dia retrenched. Uh, after uh, 14 years. So memang terduduk lah kat situ. Macam apa nak buat eh. Hmm. Lepas tu dia bahagian kontrak pula tu. Kontrak. Apa kontrak yang ada sekarang ni eh. Hmm. Hmm. And surprisingly, uh, she found some other other passion. She no, she cooked. <laughs> hmm. Dia boleh masak. Dan dia tak sangka dia minat masak, dia minat baking dan dia minat um, uh, pets, yeah, hmm. uh, cats. Uh, so that's her business now. That's what she's doing. So there's always uh, something for you out there. Uh, you just have to be brave enough, enough eh, to to give yourself a chance itu yang mm. yang we want to share today mm. that's that's what we want to share and mm. i know maybe it's something cliche or macam corny nya apa mm. macam biasa dengar kat radio je apa speaker ni cakap kan uh, tak apa we we just want to remind you from time to time that you are not alone uh, mm. we are here for you and we have this platform we have awesome resources that mm. you guys should grab it okay um anything else aliza Yes. And with that, yeah, um, summary. Summary. Uh, uh, or do we have time for questions? Anyone retrench under MSS last March insurance mm. claim? Does it? Oh, okay, so sad to hear that, mm. Mr. Singh. Mm. Uh, but we pray, we pray for your success. You are on the right track. Mm. Um, with God's will, mm. you, you will able, you'll be fine, sir. Mm. We pray for each other. So with that, uh, uh, we open up for Q&A. Uh, yeah. Q &A? Sebab kalau suruh kami bercakap Kami suka bercakap Ah, Kami suka bercakap Nanti you all pun macam apa benda lah <laughs> yang speaker yang all ambil ni Tak habis-habis bercakap Kami pun nak share juga Boleh alright Ah, uh, Kalau ada soalan Ah, uh, tu Ah, uh, Cik Ahmad Azari pun dah uh, Azar, Azari pun cakap Okay go ahead ask questions Okay any any questions? Is there anything that we can assist you? Ah uh, by having throughout this uh, awesome conversation mm. ya yeah, ada apa yang kami boleh bantu mm. ya yeah. anyone uh, so, uh, semua tiba-tiba dah malu dah ah tiba-tiba kan? malu okey uh, kalau malu deh saya saya buat summary lah ya conclusion ya yeah. yeah. um miss yeah. aida yeah yes okay i have a question because i just received question from my candidates okay okay so so, oh, um, okay, what they will ask me is that how do I know which job suitable for me? How to identify it? Ah, okay. Okay, how do we know, eh? How do we know? Yes. That job is a suitable job for you. Ah, ah all right. Okay. It's like a song, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, how do I know, eh? Again, lagu lama tak pay. Okay, all right. Um, I, I, uh, we take turns. We take turns. Okay. All right. Um, mm. How do you know whether that job is right for you? Okay. With this pandemic now, yeah. Uh, for for my personal experience, now, yeah, like myself, yeah, I studied in mathematics, yeah. Mm. I did not become a lecturer and things like that. But I've always been fascinated with uh, with people. So that's why I went into retail. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So my passion was actually I like seeing people happy when they purchase the products that I used to work with. Yeah. All right, I knew what my passion is. But with this pandemic, yeah, we cannot, um, how, how can I say, uh, you cannot be that so fussy at the moment. What you need to do is whatever opportunity you have, yeah, give it a shot first and you have to see the bigger picture. For example, if you've never worked before, it's your first experience, do your very best. 
give it like you are the first person to ever done that job so that you already built your skills on there you already got it you got the knowledge you got the skills and that is what's going to groom you yeah so that is where you find your strength yeah the areas that you need to uh, to improve on and along the journey you never know yeah the thing that you do not like actually you enjoy it because sometimes with us is we've studied in that particular uh, field or we already worked in that particular field you don't know how, know how to make a change but with this pandemic i suggest whatever opportunity you have just grab it and give it your best because from there you will actually know where is your actual gift and where is the skills that you need to enhance and shape yourself to be better for tomorrow and obviously uh, from from there mm. you be able to identify um, whether that job is mm. for you or not mm. and again you have to ask you have to be truthful to yourself lah itu yang i i um normally we will normally do lah whatever you do you need to ask yourself at the end of the day um really look yourself in the mirror and then you need to ask yourself um am i happy today yes. uh, do i get to do what i really want to do mm. yeah and if if some jobs maybe memang somebody say oh i don't like my job but i need financially mm. i need, well you you need to have a um a milestone how long you want to be at a certain place mm. all right mm. don't just groan and moan about it and not taking steps mm. uh, so for 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 us i mean for me to know whether the job is suitable for me or not apart from you you are better not to be fussy mm. that's true um at the end of the day you need to ask yourself is this the achievement that i want mm. on a daily basis mm. and if the answer is is very soothing to you every day then with god's will that would be the suitable job for you mm. because i think everybody has a different uh, goals mm. when you look for a job some monetary mm. some job satisfaction mm. yeah Uh, as long as you get to do what you love if the money is not so much you still happy mm. uh some would go for the environment it depends on what really makes you happy uh you might not going to identify it so fast kan mm. uh, tak ada hari ni habis belajar besok mm. dapat kerja terus jadi store manager mm. oh it's not suitable for me barulah 3 bulan je kat situ kan ah uh, because if you are in retail ataupun if you are in a food chain mm. yeah of course um be ready to wash toilet Mm. Yeah, uh, it's not. It will. Uh, it, bukan mana ni? You undergrad. You know. You have to know how to make the toilets clean. When people come to your restaurant, everything is perfect. Mm. So that is the skills that you need to know. Kau tidak. You, you tak tahu cuci tandas. You nak aja immunity macam mana? Mm. Contoh lah, contoh. And if you're happy doing it, knowing that people say, "Oh, your toilet got A A A class. I will come again to your restaurant." And you are happy. That could be a suitable job for you. Mm. Yes. Um, that will be our our answers. Uh, thank you, Miss Aida. Uh, okay, I have another question as well. Um, oh. Miss Aida will ask question. Yes. Okay. Uh, if I were to join Slamo Kajaya, how can it benefit me? So that is her question from okay. Aida. All right. Uh, as I think you saw the video earlier on, right? Yeah. From Slamo to Slangorians, yeah. yeah. Ah, so number one, be proud you are Slamo, eh? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second thing is pertaining to the Slamo Kajaya, yeah. Why we actually? This is not. You probably think, oh, we have to say it no matter what. But mm. I'm telling you, truth. If you join it, there is a huge benefit for you. Like I shared, yeah, we never had the opportunity. We never had the platform, yeah. What you have now, we had actually learned from the very bottom to get where we are now. You are at a platform where you have the resources to actually assist you, support you, encourage you to get your dream job. Mm. So on this uh, Selangor Kejaya, you get. On the job training, you also get soft skill training. You also get a job, yeah. And all you need to do is attend the programs, yeah, trainings. Mm. Uh, maybe some of you might say, "I have a job. What do I need to attend training?" But you mm. must remember, yeah, soft skill is a uh, is a learning journey. Yes. You cannot stop learning. Mm. You must enhance your knowledge. You must upskill, no matter what. Because, like I shared, just yeah, small topic. For example, like uh, we said earlier on, yeah, effective communication skills. Yeah. Do you mm. really know how to write an email to your boss? Yeah. Do you know the the right structure? For example, or for example, time management. I have so many things I need to do, so I feel so stressed. But actually, you do not know how to prioritize your job. 
So on Selangor Kejaya, you will actually get this. Yes. You see, you get in free training programs, yeah? Just by joining. And it doesn't cost you a single cent. Uh, who does not want, yeah? If we were, we, if we had this platform last time, we could be the next CEO, yeah? <laughs> now we are CEO in our own, own business. Yeah. Yeah. And the best part, not to forget, you get to see crazy trainers like yeah. us. How many times you get to see crazy trainers from Malaysia like us? Yeah. Which is crazy people who like to help people mm. so that you don't turn out crazy like us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> apa benda trainer tu cakap, it's okay. Kalau you rasa sekarang tak berapa kelakar apa yang kita cerita tu nanti bila dah balik, dah minum kopi, you rasa kelakar and then you gelak, boleh. Besok you nak gelak, tak apa. Tiga hari kemudian, then only you understand what we are trying to say. Masa tu you rasa nak gelak, tak apa. Kami uh, beri keizinan. Janji you are happy. Alright? So, so we are here with you. Yeah. I hope that answers your questions, yeah? Yes. Well, we get to see uh, Najmia Nawawi. Hi. Switch on your camera. Okay. Alright. Mm. All right. This is the only job for job seekers, yeah? Can SME owners upskill too? Oh. Alright, that's a question, yeah? Mm. Uh, SME, yeah. can they upskill? Miss Tara, uh, can someone from Selangor Kedaya, because what we know is people that's looking for jobs and things like that. Can someone answer that? Can SME join to upskill programs? And then we okay, have another. So, okay, for her question, right? So right now, mm -hmm. can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. For right now, for right now, we focus on the job seekers for Slangwaran who really need a job right now. So right. what we are currently doing is that we will uh, play them and also we uh, upskill and reskill them through our training, either in the uh, technical and non-technical as well. Okay. So like for like we say that uh, the uh, SME owners, right? So let's say they have uh, workers that they feel that uh, they need to upskill their uh, candidate, I mean their staff, right? They can send to us. It's free of charge. There will be no fees at all. So they okay. can uh, you know, send them. And um, basically this training would be uh, based on the uh, SME owners or the employees who say, feel that, hey, my candidate have to you know, learn this part, um, soft skill or technical part. So we will consider that as well. Apart from that, we also have a profiling as well, which is uh, definitely going to tell us that, okay, this person has to upskill this uh, in this area. So these are the things that we will do. So it is depends on the uh, what we call employer plus the uh, profiling result as well. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. I okay. hope that answer your question, uh, Magna. Yeah? All okay, right. Thank you. Thank so you. it's actually opportunity for all. Yeah. Yes. Selangor Kedah. Yes. Yeah. That's very true. So grab it. Uh, yeah. It's a great platform to enhance and shape and groom yourself to be a better yeah. employee or better boss in the future. Yes. Yeah? Uh, explore. Okay. Yes. Uh, Yes, you want to see that? Okay. Yeah, I have a personal question. Let's say okay. I doesn't have any job right now. I'm a jobless right now. Okay. So in order to be a productive or to make sure that I'm being motivated to apply a lot of jobs and everything, so what I should do in order for me to be very productive? What I should do? Well, that's um, my question. Uh, thank you so much uh, for sh for sharing. Uh, I well, it's, it's right in front of your face at the, at the moment, my friend. Um, join Selangor uh, Kerjaya because there's a lot of opportunity out there, um, alternative that you can um, explore. Yes. Yeah? And, and from there, obviously, you'll be more productive. And of course, after you join this program, you will have the opportunity ada peluang untuk improve diri you yes. lagi and learn it from, from people that is actually faced it. Yeah? It doesn't have to be um, a big tycoon. Yeah, we have it here. They can actually share with you um, things that you can use to be productive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So please, please join us. Join Selangor Kerjaya, mm -hmm. and they always have have room for for goals that you are looking for, mm -hmm. and we can expand from there. Yeah. Daripada duduk rumah sorang sorang mm -hmm. tengok Netflix tak habis habis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mari join kita, tengok Netflix, tengok iFlix, uh, Flix become a gamer, things like that. Come, um, explore what Selangor Kerjaya can provide for all those in Selangor. That would be our suggestion. Yep. 
uh, yeah, we hope that that answer your questions. Okay. Hello, okay. ladies. I have a degree in landscape architect. I worked in the field for a year and jumped in multiple fields and gained quite an experience in banking. I was headhunted based on my experience, but not really sure why was the offer attracted. But among the reason was because the job was not in line with my degree. How do I tackle the issue in future despite having the experience? Okay. I based on my experience, but not really sure why was the offer Okay, okay, we have this one question from, from Sophia from Sophia Bakar, yeah? Okay, so, uh, I have a degree in landscape. Uh, I worked in that field for, for a year and jumped into multiple fields and gained quite a different experience in banking. However, previously I was headhunted based on my experience, but not really sure why was the offer retracted ah but among the reason was because the job was not in in line with my degree how do i tackle the issue in future despite having the experience okay thank you uh for for sharing uh from our point of view okay anyway you guys still alive eh? you still boleh have boleh lagi you guys still have room to be okay, with us yes, okay yes. oh yes boleh, okay. Boleh. Carry on, carry on. Okay. Kena minta permission juga kan uh, Nanti shock sendiri Ah uh, Nanti shock sendiri <laughs> Cakap, cakap, cakap Nanti kat dengar tu Oh ya Allah ngantuk uh, kan? So we thought we ask Ask permission from from you guys Minta kebenaran ya um, For from our point of view um, Well you you uh, Miss uh, Sofia Bakar uh, Again well done ya for uh, taking the challenge of mm. doing something different from what you have learned. That is really, really awesome, yeah? Mm. Um, again, uh, it depends also uh, with what you want, yeah? What is your goal, yeah? Yes. Mm. And if you decide, if you decided to really do something different, mm. yeah? Uh, you dah masuk banking and then you fell in love with banking. Mm. And um, when you were called again by financial, industry, financial institution ataupun bank, yeah? Mm flaunt yeah share with them experience yang you dah gained mm. from uh joining the banking mm. and try to identify by being in landscape mm. what can you shift eh? yes the knowledge that you learn from landscape too yes. yang you boleh guna untuk banking yes yes yeah? So you, you need to write all this up in your yeah. resume. Your resume writing do yeah. has to customize according to the job that you apply yeah. to. Uh. So for example, if your passion is really in landscaping, mm. yeah, customize it according to landscaping. Mm. Uh, if your passion is in banking, put your experience in landscaping to in the banking terms. Yes. Uh, that's what you need to you need to customize it. Uh, you must remember my dear friends here. Doesn't mean that whatever you studied, you have to pursue in it. Mm. Both of us, this is a real, real scenario, yeah. I can't mathematician. Mathematics. Not even near. Ah. Wait, didn't even give me a shot. Yeah. Uh, but we became doing this. Yeah, but what we did was to find the right job for us, we customized it according to what the organization wants, what they want to hear. Mm. Uh, that is what you need to do, my dear friends. Yeah. Uh, like we shared earlier on, just uh have a lot of hope. Yeah. Uh, keep looking at the rainbow. Yes. Uh, be positive. Uh, you will get it. Just patience, but keep uh, driving at it. Yes. So that's fine. Try try something. Mm. Explore. Eh? Mm. Uh, I took accountancy, and then the first the first job is with Guardian Pharmacy. Mm. Macam mana tu, eh? I am yes. accountancy, tapi I kerja dekat Guardian Pharmacy. Mm. <laughs> Jadi retail store manager. Mm. Ah. So ended up I know a lot about vitamins and medicine. Mm. Macam mana tu, eh? Mm. Um, all right. But I've learned, uh, I think one is the precious uh, experiences is I've learned about sales. Mm. I learned about sales. Mm. Um, and of course, um, customer service. Mm. That is valuable. Mm. All industry needs it. Mm. Okay? Um, that is our suggestion. Mm. All right? Okay. So with that, um, that will be our our suggestion kepada Miss Sofia Baka, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, our two cents suggestion, yeah. Uh, please, you don't have to just continue what you've studied, mm -hmm. uh, but trust there's something that you studied can be used mm -hmm. for something new that you would like to explore. Yeah, right. uh, that's one thing for sure. Think about it. Think about it. Maybe if not, some of us have not asked the right questions and that is why we are not getting the right answers. Mm. Okay.
Alright. Okay, we're alright. Um, I, I think, think our time. Yeah, Mr. we've Rani. talked too much. Yeah, yeah Mr. Rani, kita cakap banyak sangat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apa, okay. apa. Uh, saya nampak satu demi satu left the meeting. Jadi saya pun rasa susah hati kan. Uh, um, oh. <laughs> but anyways, thank you, thank you for being with us. Uh, that would be some some points that we like to share. And uh, we pray for your success. Uh, please, please, please come and join Selangor Kerjaya. This is awesome initiative by MBI for Selangor people. Um, those who are staying in Selangor. Uh, and we are here to be with you. And we look forward to see you in our training programs with God's will. Yeah, inshallah. All right. Let's get Thank, Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All the best. All the best. Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Aida you. and Miss Alisa. For the wonderful session, we're really glad to join your session actually. So, so lastly, I request all of you to you know, follow us uh, through Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn and Telegram for more information. And those who are not registered in Islamo Kajaya program, please do so because uh, currently we have a lot of hot jobs and you can apply and also you can know more details about Islamo Kajaya program, yeah? And lastly, I would like to thank all our partners and especially our MBI for the great initiative for all the Slangorian. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, thank you. team. All right. Have a thank nice you. day. See you soon again. again. In a Friends different webinar. Again. All right. All right. Stay strong, Bye. guys. Look forward to see you again.